this is Emily and it's Teresa and we're back again and today we're doing this very unique restaurant located in downtown it's called Astro Donut and Fried Chicken so basically you pair the two and two together and to me the concept is kind of similar to like chicken and waffles mm -hmm. you know like sweet and savory but anyway so for fried chicken we got the two-piece dark meat because you gotta have dark meat for fried chicken that's like the absolute best but for some reason they give us four pieces I think it's because we waited for like over 20 minutes right yeah and maybe they felt bad they just threw in two extra chicken or something but yeah I think we got two dark and two white piece and then for donuts we got these two interesting donuts the first one is the blueberry lemon thyme and then we got the maple bacon and as for drinks today we're getting the uh, passion fruit LaCroix sparkling water so should we eat yeah let's <laughs> start with the fried chicken fried chicken okay which do you prefer, lake <laughs> or thigh? I like thigh. Okay, I'll do lake. Yeah, perfect. Wow. I'm glad we're on the same page. I was, I was like eyeing the lake. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'd actually pick the thigh. <laughs> perfect, because I like this. Mmm. Wow. It's so juicy. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Great crunch. Definitely different from other fried chickens I've had. It's oh, like yeah. a different flavor. Yeah. Mmm. Crispy. It's definitely not as crispy as let's say Popeyes, mm -hmm. but but it's definitely it's flaky. flaky. Mm -hmm. It's flaky, mm -hmm. and the main point is the chicken. How tender and juicy it is! Like the first bite was mm -hmm. incredible. Like all the juice just like went inside my mouth as I bite into it. Yeah, I could feel it like just dripping on my lips. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm really impressed. I wish you guys can see the inside, like the juice mm -hmm. on the chicken. Definitely super impressed with this place. I'm pretty sure they're like made to order too. Because everyone was, there was like a bit of a wait. So they were like literally heating up the chicken or making the chicken on the spot. Yeah, definitely really fresh. So this place is kind of new and super popular. Mm -hmm. So, but today there wasn't too much of a line because we're doing a late lunch. So thank goodness. Mm -hmm. But it was sweet of them to throw in something extra for mm -hmm. us. <laughs> totally wasn't expecting that. Ellie, why is there so many pieces? We only ordered two. <laughs> Do you think there's a chance that they just gave us the wrong order? Because <laughs> they gave us one of everything. <laughs> but they called our number. That's true. I have no idea. Yeah, probably the wait. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. This is delicious, so good. Mm. Yeah, so delicious. There's just right amount of like seasoning and herb on the outside, I feel. Mm -hmm. I'm forgetting about the hot sauce. Oh no! Don't worry, we still have a lot of chicken. <laughs> That's what's with, what's missing. I was just thinking in my head that yeah, the, it's like really perfect. It's but what's missing, missing, right? <laughs> yeah. It's just missing that kick. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now it's complete. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. What kind of hot sauce do you think it is? It has a bit of a. It's definitely tart. Mm hmm. Um, tastes like Tabasco. Mm hmm. It tastes like the um, you know, the Louisiana hot sauce, mm. the one that you got at Popeyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. It was in their own bottle, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Can they make it themselves or is it a different brand? Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Almost like a buffalo. Just my favorite kind of sauce in fried chicken. Because mm -hmm. you like the tart mm -hmm. sound. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had a bacon maple syrup donut before, even though it's been around for a while. Mm, yeah. I'm pretty excited to try it. <laughs> Apparently I can't cut. Now my finger is completely stained. Okay, which one first? I think the maple bacon, yeah? Yeah. That's the maple bacon. Okay. Mm. Maple bacon. Mm -hmm. Well, I can really smell it. The maple. The maple syrup. This is 
really good. <laughs> I'm surprised. Mm. Yeah, it's still really good. It's very doughy, but at the same time, it just really whets your appetite. Mm -hmm. And the glazing on the outside is like just thick enough, like it covers the entire donut. They definitely don't singe out on the on the syrup. And the bacon is not overly salty either. Yeah, definitely. So the bacon gives it kind of like a salted caramel taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. A little bit more depth, a little bit meatier, more um, sinful, I guess. <laughs> mm. At first, I thought there was gonna be a huge contrast in the flavor given that bacon is usually really salty and savory versus how sweet the maple syrup is. But it's not, surprisingly, it's not overly sweet and it's not overly savory. Like the two paired together is just like perfect. Yeah, and you're right about the dough. Like your teeth just sinks into it. Mm -hmm. Like it's velvet. So fluffy. Mm -hmm. No, so fluffy. Sometimes there's certain like food that doesn't taste good that's too doughy. Mm -hmm. But this one, surprisingly, it's good doughy. It's yeah, a good doughy and airy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Great texture. Mm -hmm. So to be honest with you, we had a friend who tried this place who wasn't a huge fan. Yeah, she said, "Don't eat there." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we were a little bit like you know, convinced not to eat there, but then at the same time, the concept is so cool, you know, like fried chicken and donut. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not disappointed at all. Yeah, who doesn't love donut and who doesn't love fried chicken? Mm -hmm. This is better than chicken and waffle in my opinion. Because mm -hmm. waffles are, I mean, they're plain. good too, yeah. <laughs> but they're, yeah, more plain, more simple. Like usually when you have a waffle, you're not like, oh, there's like so much of a secret in it, <laughs> you know, but where a donut, there's so much mystery and wonder. <laughs> this is absolutely killing sushi right now because yeah. of the smell. Sushi? I'm sorry. No more. Maybe later, okay? No. Go, go play. Okay, so should we move back to the fried chicken again? Yeah. <laughs> so which piece? Oh, geez. this is a humongous piece versus this like little itty bitty piece. Do you think here. you can tear it apart? This? <laughs> yeah. How do we do this? Because this is a giant breast. Yeah, yeah. we might have Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Perfect. Oh, perfect. <gasps> Here you go. Oh, oh, my goodness. You're a pro. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a perfect right split in the middle. Yeah. This time, don't forget your hot sauce. No, I won't forget. Especially with white meat, I want a little bit more sauce and juice. Most definitely. Hey, fried chicken cheers. Oh, yeah. The big piece. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hello. <laughs> mm. A lot of meat. Mm -hmm. But I gotta say, dark, dark meat is where it's at. <laughs> Much better, yeah, it's definitely no. where it's at. <laughs> yeah, this is good too. But you know what we should have done? We should have eaten this one first mm -hmm. and then gone to the dark meat. Mm -hmm. Because as this first bite, I would have thought this was like amazing. But because we had the dark meat, it's a little bit less than amazing. Mm. Uh -oh. I haven't had like breast meat in a long time for fried chicken. Mm -hmm. And this breast doesn't have that much bone. It's like all meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really get mm -hmm. your bang for your buck. <laughs> So I'm gonna do something different. I'm actually gonna cut a piece of the donut so I can eat both at the same time. I saw that on Yelp. Um, actually, I'll just take yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, let's take it. On Yelp, I saw that someone literally put like a piece of fried chicken in between two donuts. I think that's how you're supposed to eat it. Mm -hmm. Hence the name Astro Donut and Fried Chicken. Yeah, you're supposed to make them into um, donut chicken sandwiches. Mm hmm. Oh wow, I like this one. Mm. So the donut itself, it's not overly sweet either. It has just a hint of lemon taste and you can kind of taste the blueberry, but like the, um, like the slight sweet plus just a little tart together. Again, it's like a perfect flavor pairing in my opinion because not one flavor overpowered the mm -hmm. other. Rather the two flavors just work together harmoniously. And let me try it with the fried chicken. 
How's that? As a donut, at the same time. <laughs> it works. It's really good. Same concept as chicken and waffle, but 10 times better in my opinion. Because That's like awesome. you said, like, like mm -hmm. donut is so much more interesting. It has so much more depth in the flavor, especially with the different like flavor that you get for the donut. It's yeah. not just dough, you know? And also because donuts are also like fried, you know? So that makes it extra juicy. Mm -hmm. It's like fried on fried. <laughs> fried chicken and fried donut. Mm. I'm gonna try this donut now. Although I would love to eat it with fried chicken, it's just not my thing. <laughs> I just can't eat things that are salty and sweet together. Unless it's just a little bit. <clears throat> For majority of people, it's like best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. They're getting like a dessert and your meal is all in one. Wow. You're right about this donut. It's really good. Mm -hmm. You can really taste the berry taste. Mm -hmm. Very, very blueberry-y. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But it's not overpowering, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then that hint of lime just like brings it back to the present moment. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Mm. I would have to really disagree with our friend. Mm -hmm. This is a really good donut place, in my opinion. Uh -huh, I wonder what she didn't like about it. Yeah. I would definitely go back and try all the different flavors. I have like a lot of different other interesting flavors. I think we saw like root beer float mm -hmm. and like birthday cake. We saw creme brulee. Mm -hmm. I think. This is also such a treat too. I mean, fried chicken is always a treat. Like, don't get me wrong. You didn't get a blueberry. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but with donuts, I feel like I'm not allowed to have them all the time because they're mm -hmm. so sweet, so fried, so, so like simple. Mm -hmm. So like for us to have it today, like I'm like an excited little girl. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is really good donut. Donut and fried chicken at the same time. <laughs> it's like a freaking cheat day. Huge cheat day. Yeah, huge. Never thought chicken with hot sauce with donut would pair well together. <laughs> All three, but it works. <laughs> mm. Yum. We have to finish the wing. <laughs> it's um, like going a little bit left. You want the bigger piece or the smaller piece? Smaller piece, please. Oh, I don't know if there's any such thing. This is a smaller piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, sauce. So now with this wing, we're able to finish on dark meat. Yeah. <laughs> At least a mini bite. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. No, dark meat, alright. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Can't yeah. tell the difference. <laughs> Do you know anyone who likes um, white meat more? Mm. Like, I'm sure somebody out there. I know people eat it for more like health conscious reason, but not yeah. because they actually like it more. Mm -hmm. Because dark meat is just so juicy and so tender yeah. compared to white meat. I like white meat as like a compliment to dark meat. Yeah, like that's what I was thinking too. Mm -hmm. like, I like having, if it was mm -hmm. all you can eat for me, I would have two dark meats. And then by then I need a break. So mm -hmm. that's when I do the white meat as a break. And then I go back and finish on the dark meat. <laughs> the weird thing is, now that I'm eating this, I'm craving for more donut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. You know, I feel like that the whole time. Like when you're having the fried chicken, mm -hmm. you crave the donut. Mm -hmm. And then when you have the donut, then you have a, little, a lot of sweet. And then you're like, oh, I kind of want um, the fried chicken it. again. So then it's just kind of like back and forth. Mm -hmm. Which we did like perfectly. I know. <laughs> we didn't even like do it on purpose. And we this, didn't plan it out. Just this went concept is just too brilliant. <laughs> it just makes you go back and forth, back mm -hmm. and forth. And imagine making it into a sandwich. It's like you're getting both at the same time constantly. Yeah. It's like heaven. <laughs> I want to like... Yeah, this Eat place is such a tease, right? I know, <laughs> seriously. I didn't think that we would be able to finish that because that looked like a crap ton of food. Yeah, we were thinking about cheating and maybe like hiding some Taking of the it pieces. out. <laughs> that was, that's totally not necessary. Yeah. yeah. That because was... like the donut was a pretty decent size. It was like a pretty big sized donut mm -hmm. with a lot of dough and four gigantic 
pieces of fried chicken, but we, we did it. I mean, <laughs> high five, high five. <laughs> oh, 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 no, oh, oh, okay guys, well thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of a more unique um, type of food, fried chicken and donuts. And yeah, hope you continue to support us and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys! Bye.